Hey everybody, Ricky Ricardo here, and uh, this geometry lesson is the first one, uh, and it's on points, lines, and planes. Uh, let's begin. Okay, so here's some definitions, you guys. So uh, the first one is, uh, in my district, we always had a, a district test back in the day, uh, and this was always on there. Name the three undefined terms in geometry, uh, and they're points, lines, and planes. A point it's just some kind of position in space, you guys. Uh, there's no thickness. It's just, you know, it's almost like a molecule. Um, uh, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a position in space. Okay, lines are uh, straight lines. They contain infinitely many points, and there's no thickness. They're infinitely thin. And a plane, uh, a plane contains lines. It contains points. A plane is like a flat surface. That's what I like to think of as a plane. You know, like a uh, like a big uh, rectangle or a big circle or something, but something flat that goes on forever and ever and ever. So, uh, anyways, you'll see some pictures of what these what these things are in just a second. So, okay, collinear points are points that are on the same line. And here's a picture, of you guys. So here's a line right here. See this line right here? Collinear points are the points that are on the same line. So A, B, and C, since they're all on the same line, they are called collinear points. As soon as you include D, then you say that they are called non-collinear points. And if you're in my class, I would want you to write this stuff down because non-collinear is also a definition that, that goes with collinear. Okay, non-collinear means it does not, there is not a line that contains all of them. Okay, so D is not being on the same line as these guys, so D is non-collinear with the other ones. Okay, coplanar points are points all in the same plane. Okay, so let's pretend like this is a plane, and this plane would be labeled either plane P, or you can say it with three non-collinear points. And later on, we'll say that uh, we'll learn that uh, three non-collinear points determines a plane. So I can say plane X, Y, Z, or just plane P. And, and usually if they say it by one letter, there's no point next to it. So you say by plane with the P next to it, you know, this P, right, I'm sorry, so plane P or plane XYZ or ZYX or YZX or something, okay? And uh, as soon as, so these guys are coplanar points because they're in plane P. But as soon as you include W out here, uh, that is non-coplanar. It's non-coplanar with these ones because this plane does not contain these ones. There's not a plane that contains W and points X, Y, and Z. Okay, so again, if you're in my class, I want you to write that stuff down as well. All right, line AB is written like this, AB with a little line on top of it with arrows going both ways. Line segment AB doesn't have the arrows, but it does have that little line piece right there. Okay. Uh, ray AB is written with an arrow going past B. Notice there's no arrow on A, so this is actually my starting point. Your book calls it your end point. I don't know why, because it's actually where your race begins, and it goes in the direction of B and past B forever and ever and ever. Okay, so uh, again, they're going to say this is the end point with end point A, but it's actually with B beginning point A. So ray AB starts at A and goes in, in the direction of B. Okay, and then up here, sorry, I ran out of room. I inserted this. The length of AB is written AB with nothing on top of it. So if I'm talking about the actual length, like in inches or centimeters or whatever, uh, then I don't put anything on top of it. So just some geometry ways to write all this stuff, you guys. you got to get used to writing this. Um, so know the difference between what a line is, what a, a segment is, what a ray is, and what the length is. Okay, and then uh, opposite rays have the same end point, or er, beginning point, you guys, because this is my beginning point, but they call it an end point, I don't know why, have the same end point, and they go in opposite directions, making up a straight line. So right here, here's a, here's a ray BC, so it uh, starts at B and has an arrow past C, a ray BA, so they have the same end point, beginning point, uh, and they go in opposite directions, making up a straight line. Okay, and note, you guys, real common error, people want to say ray BA and ray AB are opposite rays. Even though they're going in opposite directions, look, here's ray BA starts here, goes that way, and ray AB starts here, goes that way, and it makes up a straight line, but they don't have the same end point. You have to have the same end point and go in opposite directions. Okay, so BA and BC are, because they're same end point B, and go in opposite directions. Okay, the intersections of two lines is a point, so there's two lines right there. You see these two lines? Line M and line N. So you can call lines with lowercase letters, and they intersect in a point, and, and points are always uh, uppercase capital letters, okay? 
So um, uh, there's other ways to represent lines. I'll show you in just a second. Okay. So um, the intersection of two planes is a line. This one's kind of hard to draw, you guys. So here's two planes. Can you see the, the plane P and the plane Q? And they're intersecting in this red line R right here. Think of a wall and a ceiling, you guys. Look up at the wall and the ceiling. And just look at that. Just go way down that little crease in the wall and ceiling. I'm looking up at mine in my dining room right now. And it's a line right there, okay? So pretend like the ceiling goes through the wall forever and ever and ever, and the wall goes straight up forever and ever and ever, and the intersection is that little infinitely skinny little line right there in the corner of your ceiling. Okay, here I have two lines. Look, here's line PQ with arrows on top of it. Here's line TS with arrows on top of it. They intersect at point Q, okay? All right, so give another name for segment PR, okay? So segment PR, you can just reverse these digits and say RP, okay? Uh, uh, name all rays that have endpoints Q. Remember, it's the beginning point, but endpoints Q. So uh, ray QT, ray QR, ray QS, and ray QP. And you got to put the arrows on top of them, otherwise it won't say rays. It has to have the arrows on top of them. So this says ray right here. This says ray QP. This says Ray QT. Right here, this says Segment RP. Okay? All right, so just the, the notations. Name two pairs of opposite rays. Okay, so they make up a straight line, you guys. So here, QR and QP makes up this straight line right here. And then also QS and QT. So they're rays. Ray QP, Ray QR, opposite rays. And Ray QS and Ray QT are opposite rays. Okay? Draw and sketch each. Okay, a plane and two intersecting lines that intersect the plane at different points. Okay, so I gotta have intersecting lines and they're going through, now the lines are intersecting and not only that, they're intersecting uh, the plane at different points. There's one line and there's another. You see how they're intersecting up here and they're intersecting the plane at different points. Okay, it's kinda hard for me to draw if I, I'm doing it on my computer with a little cursor right there. Okay, so there's a plane and two intersecting lines intersecting the plane at two different points. Okay, here's a plane and two intersecting lines that don't intersect the plane. Okay, so there's a plane and then two intersecting lines. Think of them way up above and they're kind of like parallel if you guys know what parallel means. These lines up here are parallel to the plane so they wouldn't intersect it. All right, so a plane and two intersecting lines in the plane. Okay, so here's a plane and two intersecting lines that are contained in the plane. All right, easy, huh? Okay, so it looks like here's a plane. Here's a line L. Uh, looks like I have some points now. Okay, here's another line that's intersecting that plane, so it's not contained in there. Okay, so name two other names for line BD. Okay, so here's line BD, so I can say line DB with arrows on top of it. And you can also call it line M out here, okay, with the lowercase. Okay, so you can call them with the uppercase with the arrows on top of it, or you can just use the one singleton lowercase right here. All right, uh, okay, give another lane for plane T, okay, okay, here's plane T. So any three non-collinear points, you can say points E, C, and B. Okay, don't include D because D is non coplanar. Okay, they got to be co uh, non collinear points that are in the plane. So e, you can say plane ECB or plane AEC, uh, anything with plane uh, E right there. So, um, your point E, sorry. Okay, any three non collinear points that are in the plane. Okay, name three non collinear points. Okay, that's easy enough. Name three as long as you're including E, non collinear points, E, uh, C, and B. Okay, or even uh, E, D, and B, or A, D, and C, and there's all kinds. There's not one line that contains them. So A, B, and C, oh, these are collinear. Sorry, I thought I saw non-collinear. Sorry. So collinear is uh, A, B, C. Well, let's see if that's at my next one that I'm doing. Uh, name three. No, coplanar points. Okay, four coplanar points. Okay, A, B, C, and E looks like. Okay, uh, now let's see. My class will probably be doing that homework assignment.